going on, everybody? It's good to see you. Welcome to uh, Justice for Hires Tai Chi to the People. So very happy to have some uh, new faces here. And I'm Jan, and I uh, Tai Chi is a huge part of my life. It's a martial art, uh, and I coach the U.S. Tai Chi Push Hands team, which is uh, the grappling aspect of a very slow art that actually speeds up when it comes to the sport aspect of it. So uh, it's like judo or Greco-Roman wrestling, but to get to that level of speed and strength, you do a lot of slow exercises and visualization uh, and breath work that really builds a lot of internal power, makes the body very, very strong. And that's what we're gonna be doing here today. And Justice for Hires, Tai Chi to the People is always uh, free, open to the entire community. Uh, every week we pick a different uh, good cause that people can donate to. Anytime you donate, it's always directly, you do it directly to the cause. So you'll either find their link on our Instagram or you'll find uh, the link on, on my website, just uh, janstaichi.com uh, at the bottom of there, uh, which is the case for today. Um, we're having a, uh, there's a GoFundMe for a uh, community members, a family that, uh, a family member who's getting operations done. So that's out in, in Europe. And so we dedicate today's uh, training to, to this, this person and their family, and you can just go right to the bottom of jantaichi.com and you'll see the GoFundMe link and you'll, it'll take you right to their page. Uh, aside from that, if there's any questions that you might have while we're training, always feel free to please ask because the questions make us all better. And uh, with that said, these are always recorded training sessions. Uh, anybody and everybody who's on YouTube watching, uh, you're always welcome to join as well. Uh, but for those of you that are here on on, uh, on Zoom, we'll get started. And like I said, always feel free to ask questions. And once again, my name is Jan, so we'll go for it. Starting now. So first and foremost, Tai Chi starts with a, the concept of the imaginary strength. And this concept is super important for alignment uh, across, the, uh, across so many different disciplines. And there's a bunch of data, I was just watching a CEO few weeks ago, start his Zoom session to all of his investors with this imaginary strength concept. He didn't connect it at all to Tai Chi. It comes from many different modalities, but there's a whole bunch of data behind how this affects your performance as a human being to help you show up as the best version of yourself. So in Tai Chi, it's called the imaginary strength and lifts you from the top of the head. So you imagine a strength pulling you. I'm illustrating with my, my hair. <laughs> Feel the strength lift you up and the whole body dangles from that strength. And you can do this sitting down, you can do this standing up. The feet are shoulder length apart if you are standing and parallel. The toes face the same direction, direction as the fingertips and your fingertips, palms are facing down and the fingers are straight ahead. Arms are very relaxed, not flexed or bent. Just very, very relaxed to the side. And there's special attention on the middle finger of each hand. The mouth will remain closed the entire time that we're training. And the tongue will be gently placed on the ceiling of your mouth. All the breathing will happen through the nose. And you'll use your base diaphragm. There are three sets of diaphragms. You have to use your base diaphragm to pull the oxygen in. So breathe with the belly. More specifically, three finger lengths below your belly button, what's called the lower dan chen in Chinese Kung Fu and Tai Chi. In yoga, it's known as the second chakra. But essentially, that area of the belly is where we're focusing the breath. Feel the belly expand and give the sensation of breathing a color, a visualization of some sort. So you can see, feel, and experience it as you pull it in. You can trace it with your eyes open, feeling it. And exhale, see the color push up through the shoulders, down the arms to the palms and fingertips, about an inch or two beyond. Inhaling into the belly. And exhaling, washing the color down the arms to the palms and fingertips. There are many reasons to do this visualization, one of which is to give your attention a vehicle. You can trace the attention by tracing the sensations using this visualization method. 
And once you have stronger control over the attention, you can give it intent, different types of intent, which changes the quality of your attention. While you're doing this, bring the mind back to that imaginary string lift you from the top of the head and feel the sensation of relaxation, cascade down the spine. Again, the whole body dangling from that string. And you should feel the muscles even in the lower back soften and relax. And the tailbone points straight down. So you'll feel it drop. If you feel any flex in the back, perhaps the butt is sticking out, drop the tailbone down. When that happens, notice that the hips sink into a nice, comfortable position. And the hips should feel like a bowl of water that you don't want to spill. It's full to the brim. You don't want to tilt it in any particular way, so you allow it to remain relaxed and flat. Even the knees soften and the weight shifts to your heels. And once you go through that scanning of your body, bring your breath back to the belly. And exhale, wash down the hands, the palms, and the fingertips. This is called gilded pillar. It's the first exercise in Tai Chi. Essentially, you start your morning off and end your day with checking in with your posture. You check in with the organs even. You want to make sure that you're not holding any unnecessary tension. Tension is not bad, but unnecessary tension costs you energy and it causes disruptions of circulation in the body. So soften anywhere that doesn't need the tension. Scan the organs to make sure that they're hanging as naturally as they possibly can inside the body, that nothing's flexing and holding them up unnecessarily. And you'll get better with this over time. And then inhale deeply, exhale, drop the hands down. Inhale, lift the wrists. The breath lifts the wrists. And exhale, wash the color of the palms and fingertips, pushing the color out. Inhale, draw it back in through the hands and interlace the fingers above the head. Exhaling down, soften the knees. The hands will come right in front of the collarbone with the fingers interlaced. And then you'll inhale, going onto the toes, turning the palms to the ceiling, keeping them interlaced, stretching out of the hips, onto your toes and exhaling down. This is called uplifting head. Again, inhaling up. Exhale, wash the color through the palms and fingertips. Inhale, drawing the color in. Exhaling, softening the knees, interlaced fingers, inhaling up. Stretch through the shoulders, out of the hips, onto your toes, and exhaling down. Breathing formula two, inhaling up. Colors pulling in through the arms, imagining it. Inhaling even deeper, intensifying the inhalation, and now exhaling. Inhaling up again. Exhaling down. Again, inhaling up. Even deeper, two stage inhalation. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Breathing formula three, inhaling up. And exhale, wash the color from the palms and fingertips, pushing it out. Inhale, drawing in, stage one. Even deeper, stage two. Even deeper, stage three. And exhaling out. We're learning to whip the breath with the attention. In martial arts, many times you need to use one breath for multiple actions. Inhaling up. Exhale, washing the color out. Inhale, stage one. Even deeper, stage two. Even deeper, stage three. Exhaling down. Breathing 
formula four, inhaling up, even deeper, even deeper, more intense, even deeper, holding the belly, breath into the belly and exhaling out. Exhalation is just as long as the inhalation, not a little bit longer to expand the lung capacity. And again, inhaling up, even deeper, even deeper, even deeper. Stretching out of the hips onto your toes and exhaling out as the heels connect back into the ground. And now we'll get more specific with the areas of the body that we're using. Inhaling up, use the belly. Even deeper, use the obliques, the sides of the body. Feel them expand out. For the third breath, inhale using the lower back and feel the lower back muscles expand. And for part four, the entire waist expanding in all directions. And really feel like a bell expanding at the bottom. And then exhale. We focus on the visualization before we overemphasize the muscles because the breath cattle should catalyze the muscle. So inhaling using the belly, even deeper the obliques, the sides expanding outward, even deeper the lower back, and even deeper the entire waist expanding in all directions. Exhaling. Widen the stance, hollow fists rested right on the hips. When you sit in this half horse stance, your feet are shoulder length and a half apart and the tailbone will drop straight down. Oftentimes when you start to squat, you'll feel the lower back flexing, which is a good thing, especially if you're going forward, you want the lower back suspension bridge function. But here you're gonna keep the weight on the heels and keep the back very soft, tailbone, flat. Imaginary strength holds you up. And this is a half core stance. If you've seen karate or kung fu, they'll hold it even lower. But since we hold it for so long in Tai Chi, we're going to hold it halfway up. Hollow fists are like meditative positions in the hands, index and thumb. But the intent is a bit different. You should be able to squeeze the hands into a fist at any given time but they're very relaxed, rested right on the hips, connected as if by glue to the hips. So minimize the tension in the arms once you bring the hands up. Inhale to the belly and exhale. The pelvis rotates on the femur. So you'll bend from here forward rather than bending the back. The back will remain straight going down. Chest is parallel to the ground. Eyes looking straight down. And inhale, feel the breath pull you to the side and up and lean back, eyes on the belly button, exhaling down. Inhale, the breath pulls you to the side and up. Eyes on the belly button as you lean back and exhale and come forward. And as you inhale, the breath should feel like a rope that you're climbing and exhaling, releasing it. Inhale, the breath should feel like a rope that you're climbing. And exhale, releasing that rope. And reverse it. Four times in the other direction. This exercise is called Elephant Swings Its Head. And it's very helpful from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view of redistributing heat that gets trapped in the chest cavity. So it's great if you're stressed to help move the circulation around and redistribute back to the rest of the body. Dropping the hands down, relaxing. Inhale, breathless the wrists, wrists lift the body. And exhale, watch the color from the palms and fingertips pushing it out. Inhale, breath pulls the wrist back and exhale and let the hands float down and stand up straighten your 
knees. I keep the feet shoulder length and a half apart. Inhaling the breath lifts the wrist. Exhale, wash the color of the palms and fingertips. Inhale, draw the wrist back. And exhale as the hands float down like feathers. It should feel as if the tips of the fingers are softening the muscles in your back. Whatever level your fingers are at or pointing to, that's the level that you're consciously releasing tension from behind you, meaning the backs of your legs, even behind the kneecaps, calves, ankles, heels into the ground. Inhaling, lifting the wrists. Exhale, pushing the color from the palms and fingertips. Inhale, draw the wrists back in. And exhale, soften the back, the head, the back of the neck, upper back, middle back releases, lower back, the glutes, legs, calves, and heels into the ground. Inhaling up one more time. Inhale even deeper and gather. Hollow fists again, palm facing the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. And exhale. Pelvis rotates on the femur. Weight shifts even more to the heels. And now your chest is parallel to the ground again. Eyes looking straight down. Elbows nearly in front of the eyes. There's a straight line from the top of your head to your tailbone. This exercise is called <laughs> Start from the top of the head to the tailbone. Inhale to the belly. And exhale, wash the color down the legs into the ground. It's called golden tortoise. And inhale into the belly. Exhale, wash the color through the lungs. Visualize the color. Washing the lungs, strengthening the lungs. Inhale to the belly, exhale, wash the color down the arm to the palms and fingertips. Inhale deep and exhale. Place the color wherever you want to gain strength in your body. Inhale deep and open your hands now. And exhale, reaching the hands through, crossing the arms and uncrossing them, reaching through the legs straight back. When you do this, your upper back might bend a bit. So inhale, lift your collarbone to reestablish the posture flat like a table. If the legs burn, sink a little lower, bend the knees even more. But if they are shaking too much, then you can come up for a little bit of a rest. But if it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap, <laughs> relax yourself and sink a little deeper. Inhale to the belly, exhale, wash the colors down the legs. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, wash the color through the lungs. Strengthen the lungs. Wherever the color touches, it strengthens. Inhale to the belly. Exhale, wash the color down the arms, the palms, the fingertips. Inhale to the belly. And exhale, wherever you want to gain strength in the body. And drop the hands down slowly. Inhale, breath lifts the wrist. Wrist lift the body. Exhale, pushing the color for the palms and fingertips. Inhale, draw the wrists in. Exhale, shift to one side. And inhale, drawing the breath up the leg. Lift the leg as high as you can. And exhale, kick out, kicking the air. Exhaling, visualizing the color going to the toes while also relaxing the muscle around the bone. It should feel like jello almost and you'll feel the blood cascade down to the toes. So at the same time as you exhale and visualize, the blood is cascading down. This is called a flash relaxation. Shift sides, inhaling up, breath pulling the color up the leg, and exhale, kicking out. Again, you're breathing through the toes. You're visualizing the color as the breath pushing through the toes and relaxing the muscle around the bone so it cascades down to the toes as you do this. Shaolin monks are really great at this and Michael Jackson was also an expert at doing this type of technique. That's why his kicks are so great. <laughs> <laughs>
and his finger points. Exhale, wash the color out. One more time, golden tortoise, and we're gonna change the breathing mechanic. Exhaling, dropping the hands down, softening the back, inhaling up. Exhale, wash the color out. Inhale, gather, hollow fists, and we're going to once again, feet shoulder length and a half apart, pelvis rotating on the femur as you exhale and go down. Eyes looking straight down, chest parallel to the ground, weight on the heels, elbows nearly at eye level, straight line from the top of the head to the tailbone to keep the back flat like a table. Even the chin gently tucks in to straighten the neck so that the, the spine goes all the way through straight to the skull. And there's quotations around straight because there's never a true straight line here. Inhaling into the belly, and this time when you exhale, spread the color throughout the whole body, scanning the body, washing the body with this color visualization. Inhale to the belly, exhale. Scan the body with the color like a radar. Look for any tension in the body, any dark patches that you might see with the mind's eye or any cold areas you feel. Inhale to the belly, exhale, let the color permeate and penetrate the cold areas, warming them up, the dark patches bringing color back to them. Inhale to the belly, one more time. Exhale, spread the color throughout the whole body. Inhale, open the hands. Exhale, reaching through the legs, straight back behind you. Arms are straight behind you. Lift the collarbone if the back bent a bit and inhale to the belly. Exhale, spread the color throughout the whole body. into the belly, exhale through the whole body, again scan, look for any dark patches, any tension, inhale through the belly, through the whole body, and one more breath, exhale through the whole body, let the hands float down, inhale the breath, lifts the body, Left breath lifts the wrist, wrist lifts the body. Exhale the palms and fingertips. Inhaling deep. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Hands above the head and exhale. Push the color down the legs, keeping the legs straight. Inhale up, draw the color into the belly. Turn to your right side. Exhale, push color down the legs, keep your legs straight. Inhaling up. Turn to your left side. Exhale, wash the color down the left side. Inhaling up one more time, bring the hands behind your back. And exhale with the hands behind you, washing down the backs of your legs, the color visualization. Inhaling up, even deeper. Exhale, and inhale. Holding this posture for a moment. Hold the breath for a moment. Inhaling up. Exhale, push the color to the palms and push the palms forward. We're going to do something called white crane spreads its talons. This is a crane twist. We're gonna do a very gentle grab. In Kung Fu, they would use it as a hard grab on the arm or as a strike on the chin or in the temple. But in Tai Chi, it's used more of a, as a snatch or a roll. And especially it's helpful in grappling or a little rolling to positions. So you're going to inhale and you can stand as you lift back. Your fingers will massage your temple. And exhale, push forward in and up. Gentle grab as you inhale. Keep the elbows down. So if you find your elbows up or if you find tension in the shoulders, drop them down. You want the attention very focused on the breath and the wrists and the fingertips. Massage the temples. Still inhaling, hands float down to your solar plexus, just underneath the sternum. And exhale, pushing forward, in and up. Special attention on the middle finger of each hand. Inhale, drawing the color into the belly through the fingertips. Exhale, 
exhaling, pushing the color out of the palms and fingertips. Tai Chi is made of multiple visual infrastructures. So I will give different ideas that you can focus on while we do this training, but choose the one that resonates the most with you. And you can always come back to the other ones later. When I say that, it applies right now. As you inhale, you could be drawing the color into the belly, exhale, pushing it out. Something else you could focus on is inhaling. And as you pull, you should feel resistance. And it's not a flex. This is not a dynamic tension exercise. It's all in the mind. And when you push out, same thing, you should feel weight. Inhale, pulling in as if you're pulling a, an elastic band. And exhaling, pushing forward in and out, sinking the body, bending the knees, keeping the weight on the heels, feeling the weight in the palms. This idea, this concept of weight should be layered eventually with the color visualization. There's even a pulley system that the breath is connected to that's a separate visualization system, but they're all layered on top of each other. This exercise is a Nagong exercise, which is like weightlifting for intention. So just like weightlifting, the more you do any one of these, focus on any one of these visualization, the color or the weight, any of these sensations, the stronger you get with recalling them the next time you train. So eventually you'll be able to layer them all on top of each other, which gives you a very particular experience. So whether it's the color, inhaling the color through the fingertips into the belly, exhaling, pushing from the belly up the back through the palms and fingertips, tracing that color or feeling the weight, pulling in, let the hands float down, exhale, feeling the weight pushing out. Either of those are great to focus on. And if you can do both right now inherently, that's awesome. We'll do the next five, staying seated. Exhale, pushing out. Two more. One more. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, shift to one side. Inhale, bring the knee up past your hip and open up. Exhale, shift to the other side. And cover the face as if you're blocking, like in boxing, called walling up. Cover the face, inhale, knee comes past your hip, open up, exhale, shift the weight to the other side. Inhale, control the knee coming up, even deeper inhalation as you open up, exhale, place the heel down, but don't shift the weight yet. Exhale, shift the weight, inhaling up. You can wave with the hands if you'd like to. Exhale, the heel touches down, and then you push off the other heel, shift the weight, releasing one leg into the other. All the weight should fall down with the hip falling into the groin of the supporting leg. You should feel the weight wrap down the muscle all the way into the heel ball, foot, and big toe of the supporting leg. Inhaling up, open, place the foot down, exhale, shift, and then feel that back heel Shift into the front leg, back hip, inhaling up, and shift, inhaling up, shift. Three more each side. Two more each side. 
feel the hip opening. One more each side. down, step one foot forward, and inhale, push the belly forward, inflate the belly as you inhale, and the fingers, just like the white crane pulling up or pulling out this time, inhale, pull out, and use the belly, do your best to push the belly out as you inhale, and exhale, shift onto your back leg, inhale, push the belly forward, stretch, Exhale, shift onto your back leg. This is an adapt, is adapted from a judo exercise. In judo, you use the belly to take space from your opponent, as well as your hips, to bump them, to make them lose their center of gravity before you throw them. So you wanna inhale, use the belly, and really feel like you're pulling a jacket gently off someone's shoulders. Of course, in judo, they would pull it apart and it would be the gi that is being pulled or someone's jacket being pulled apart. So we're gently pulling, exhale, shifting back. And of course, by doing these exercises slow, it's very similar to the concept of time under tension, which is how you develop the leanest, most dense muscle and strength. So more time under tension, the greater awareness and the greater the strength. So we're slowing ourselves down to really feel everything motivated by the breath and the intention, allowing the breath to pull us to different places and supporting that with the visualization, which refines the willpower. And visualization is the key component that relates top athletes in the world and top CEOs in the world to the victories that they're known for. So you wanna really refine the process of visualization across the board. And these exercises are a great place to do so. And switch legs, other leg forward now. Inhale, belly out, really push the belly. Exhale, compressing. You can cover the face just like you're boxing, walling out, protecting yourself, and then inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pull. Like you're pulling a jacket off. Three more. Feel the stretch in the upper rib cage as well. Anything that's martial has it. The other side of the coin is the healing aspects of it from the Chinese martial arts perspective. So everything we're doing has wonderful, not just martial application, but healing application. We really want to feel these stretches, allow the circulation to get to all the places that don't normally get stretched. And now we're gonna to shift to a little bit more of a hybrid boxing and Tai Chi uh, exercise. So we're gonna have our hands up. You can pick a foot that's forward, potentially the side that is your, your, uh, your lead hand, your most dominant hand you can have forward. And we're gonna do a dynamic tension exercise. Dynamic tension has you both flexing and relaxing at the same time. And I use these exercises a lot in competition uh, to prepare for competition because you have to allow yourself to know tension and then release tension very, very quickly, meaning to let go and fully relax. So in these exercises, they can actually build a lot of tension, which oftentimes is the exact opposite thing you want to do uh, in Tai Chi. But we're going to do them because it's going to be very helpful at getting an awareness of the tension in the body and how to release it. So, and plus it helps with the strength. You build a lot of strength with dynamic tension. So inhale, just don't overdo it. Inhale and squeeze the hand as if you're pouring tea. And you're gonna squeeze the hand 
and the arm and flex the entire arm. And then exhale, soften all of it out. Have it fully relax. Same thing with the other arm, inhaling, flexing it as if you're pouring tea. And exhale, softening the arm. Do your best to release any tension. Inhale, and to be able to extend the arm while flexing means you're both relaxing and flexing at the same time. So you have to soften and flex as you extend out and exhale, completely soften. Inhale, flexing the arm. Keep going, reaching out as much as you can. And then exhale, soften the arm completely. Inhale, you're pouring tea. Pouring tea is the considered the perfect punching posture. And exhale, soften down. Inhale, flex. Flexing the arm. Not just the arm. Feel it all the way down the wingspan into the obliques. And then soften the abs, soften the back, soften the arm. One more time each side. Inhale, flex. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, flex. Feel it in the forearm, the bicep, the tricep, the shoulder, in the hands, of course, the fingers, the obliques, and exhale, soften. And we'll do two uplifting heavens just to help us get rid of that unnecessary tension. You don't want to keep any of it. Inhaling up. Exhale, let that tension wash away. Feel the circulation quickly return to the areas that you flex. Inhaling up, even deeper, even deeper, even deeper, big breath. Exhale, down. Inhaling up, one more, just for good measure. Now we're going to switch legs and we're going to do a different dynamic tension exercise. You don't ever want to overdo these, but we're going to do three more on each side and we're going to softly block down. So one arm is going to be very, very relaxed, very relaxed, washing to the side while the other hand is going to punch forward. You're removing or stopping a, a pressure that's coming from the outside in or redirecting it and the other hand will Flex forward. So we'll do it on each side. Hands up. Exhale. One hand floats down. The other one punches forward. Exhale. Push the color through the knuckles, specifically these two index and middle finger knuckles. Flex all the way through the arm into the abs. And then soften, inhaling up, drawing the color up. Exhale. The other hand floats down and flexing the other arm. Again, this hand is very relaxed while this one is flexed forward. Inhale, soft, bring it all the way up. Two more times each side, from the side, exhale. Inhale. When you inhale, everything just drops like a noodle. Only the breath lifts you up and exhale. Inhale, softly up. One more time each side. And feel the, the wonderful challenge of having to relax one of the arms after you've just put tension in. Inhaling up. Last one, exhaling. Push it out. Flex the bicep, the tricep. Soften this other arm completely. Extend all the way through the shoulder blade of the back and then flex down to the obliques. Inhaling up. And two uplifting heavens, once again, to wash away any of the unnecessary tension. Big breath, even deeper. Feel the stretch out of the hips and shoulders, exhaling down. Deeper. 
exhale down. Now we're going to go right into that same exercise we were doing, except with a different approach. One hand up, you can start here, and exhale. Push the breath with no flexing through the arm. So the only thing that's happening here is the visualization pushing out and very, very soft squeeze at the end, at the apex of your punch. You'll never lock the arm ever when you punch fully. It'll potentially hyperextend the arm. So you'll always keep a gentle curve in the arm when throwing a punch. And you want to exhale, use the waist and the hip to help push the arm all the way out. And the shoulder blade of the arm, the punching arm, will disappear into the back, which helps shoot the circulation through the, in the, the knuckles, through the hand, as well as gives you that extra few inches of reach with your punch. Super important. Inhaling up. You can stand and exhale, sink and sit. You can sink on the back leg. The other head leg will just dangle. It's called a hanging leg stance. Exhale, sink, sit, push out. Inhale, lifting up. You can stand and exhale, sink, sit, push the breath out. And do your best to no flexing at all, only softly pushing the breath out. Inhaling out. Cover the head, exhaling out. Feel the work in the waist. Inhaling up, stand, exhale. The color visualization is very important here. Feeling a wash through the knuckles, feeling the heat and circulation go through the hand. Three more times each side. Exhale, really sink and sit. One more time each side. And now we're going to whip the breath through the hand and throw it out. So now the breath is pushing through and you still have the same relaxation so there's no flex in the arm. But that last squeeze is going to help you lock your arm into position. So there's no hard, continuous flex. It's just that right there. And you inhale very, very soft. Turn to the other side. And feel when you exhale the explosion outward. Inhaling up. Sink and sit. One hand floats and whips out. The other hand is punching right on the same line as your heart. Inhaling up. Four more each side. Inhale, draw the color into the belly and exhale, whip it out through the knuckles. About two inches beyond the knuckles is where the imagination should go and the visualization. Three more. Two more. One more inside. Inhale, draw it. And exhale, sit for a moment. Relax. Tailbone dropping straight down. Imagine your string lifts you up. Whole body dangles in your half horse stance. The breathing will be up the front of the body, rolling the color from the toes to the top of the head. The tongue on the ceiling of the mouth is very important here, as is the counterpoint, which is very subtle, slight tension in the anus. Inhale, roll the breath up the front, fingers facing each other, shoulder blades slightly disappear into the upper back. Exhale, roll the color visualization down the back like a waterfall from head to heels. Six breaths like this, inhaling up the front like a tidal wave, from the toes to the top of the head, exhaling down the back from the head to the heels. Four 
Four more breaths. Turn the palms up, same position in terms of level by the hips. And same breathing, six breaths. This is called big orbit breathing. We're breathing up the conception vessel, which is all the energy that runs up and down the front of the body in traditional Chinese medicine. And it connects with the tension in the anus and the tongue and the cilia in the mouth to the governing vessel, all the energy that runs up and down the back of the body. And together they make the big orbit. So we inhale up the front, toes to the top of the head, exhaling down the back, head to the heels. And wash the visualization all the way down, which means you're washing your attention up the front and down the back. Slow, steady breaths, two more. One more. Inhale, lift the hands up, palms facing you, slight wind beneath the wings of the arms. This is called hugging the tree. It's a, one of the most common Tai Chi exercises, one of the Qigong exercises, well, let's see. Inhaling up the front, down the back six times. And if your legs burn, sink a little lower. Unless, of course, they feel like they're going to snap. Then you can stand up. And turn the palms out. Six breaths. Remember that when the palms are out, the shoulder blade should still disappear into the upper back. The back should still be flat. Arms above the head, forehead, just slightly with the fingers facing each other. Again, the shoulder blade should still disappear into the upper back, but the shoulders remain soft and down, just forward, helping the circulation intensify to the fingertips. The fingers should almost feel like there's a connection between the hands jumping across each finger as you inhale up the front of the body down the back six times. And finally turn the palms forward, inhaling up the front, down the back six times. Inhale, standing up now. Just straightening your legs, rolling the breath up the front of the body, reach the hands up. Exhale, roll the breath down the back of the body, let the hands float down, drop the hips, bending the knees. Inhaling up the front, like you're sliding your hands on a wall, 
Exhaling down after sliding down. Inhale, breath into the belly, color into the belly. As you rise above the head, exhale, wash it down the back. The hips should feel like an elevator here rising up. When you exhale, you should feel like a slow motion elevator falling as if the cord had been cut. Meaning that you should feel the weight in the hips pulling the hands. This very subtle mechanic of feeling the weight in the hips manifesting in different parts of the body, such as the hands right now, is part of grappling in Tai Chi to give a sense of, a deeper sense of body weight to moves that may not necessarily emphasize them. Meaning that if you're going to grab someone's arm and pull it through, which is called an arm drag, you connect the hip to it and drop your hip and makes the weight, your weight go into your opponent's arm and rips them across. <laughs> so it's great stuff. And you can apply this in so many different ways, but the, the mechanic starts here. Softly raising the hands, exhaling, feeling the weight of the hips pulling the hand down. And the hands are moving at their own speed as well. We'll do two more. One more. You can also apply this to clinch work and Muay Thai. Lots of stuff. Inhale. Now spread the color to the sides. And exhale, compress it, sinking and sitting. Inhale, straighten the legs. The awareness is spreading to the side, splitting and expanding. And exhale, condensing. Almost like you're squeezing a sponge, but it's a visualization. Inhale, opening. Exhale. The breath comes right to the center line. And then you inhale and expand the awareness, expand the color out. Similar to as I was saying before, these exercises have so many things you could focus on. And at whatever point you are in your own personal training, that's the thing, the area to focus on to get good for yourself and then expand to other concepts. So whichever concept resonates with you that I'll share, that's the one to focus on. One concept is the color expanding and then just being compressed. Inhale, expanding it, and just compress it. Another one is to feel that compression almost as if it's right into your center line. Again, that imaginary string awareness and expanding it out. Feeling the sense of compression, compression, and almost like you're pulling taffy or cotton candy apart. You really feel, give yourself that sensation pulling apart and condense. Yet another version still has that deep awareness and expansion, but the expansion is as far as you can go beyond your toes, through your room, through your house, apartment, through your building, through your town. You want to expand your awareness as far as you can to the entire planet, solar system, etc. But again, each one of these has to be done with the level that resonates with you. And there's a very practical impact and effect that you'll feel when doing this. So you have to pick the intention, the mechanic that works for you for where you're currently at. Of course, if you're doing the full expansion as far as you can. When you exhale and compress, you really bring the awareness even down to a cellular level as small as you can go inside your body. And when you do things like that, what you're seeing in front of your eyes in terms of your hands, etc., it's almost if you're not, not even seeing it, the visualization should be that intense. Two more. Uh, 
last one. And inhaling up, open the arms. Exhaling, sinking, bending the knees and looking at the belly button. The arms are like Atlas holding the earth. So it's like you have a globe in front of you and the eyes are on the belly button. Feel the abs contract to hold the body up. The knees are bent. From here, inhale through the fingertips into the belly. The hands connect and then exhale, sink down. When you sink down, you'll still be straight, so you're not going to be leaning forward at all. Weight is on the heels. Inhaling up, anytime you go up, and exhaling down, holding the earth, looking at the belly button. Feel the contraction of the abs. Inhaling up, back to the hands connect, exhaling down. This exercise is called Woman's Womb is the Earth. Exhaling down. Four more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. I saw a comment come up, but I can't read it from so I'm so far away that I will check. But if you have to ask a question, feel free to unmute and say whatever your question might come to mind. Inhaling up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale deep, exhale shift, back to shoulder length apart, uplifting heaven twice, big breath. Stretching out, exhale down. One more. Exhale down, bring the feet two fists apart, in parallel, inhale, fingers to the back. Chest and ceiling, hips forward, weight on the toes. Exhale, butt back, fingers forward, stretch the legs. Keep the legs straight as you go down and soften the knees. Inhaling up, one more. Fingers back, chest up, hips forward, weight on the toes. Exhale, butt back, fingers forward. Inhaling up. Exhale, push the color down the legs. And slap up. Up the inside of the arm, down the outside of the arm. Up the inside soft part of the arm, turn down the outside hard part. Over the shoulder. Every time you do Tai Chi down the back, you want to massage yourself. Give the circulation. Put it deep in it. Inhaling up. Exhale, fingers float down. One more. Soften. Fingers float down. Rub the hands together and massage around the chest, specifically on the edge of the pectoral major muscles, and deeply pushing the pressure and the color visualization, exhaling into through the hands into the chest, massaging around the breasts, and then tapping around that same line on the outer from inside up, outside down, inside up, outside down. Very, very important and massage with the fingertips even deeper, really getting into the lymph nodes, the pressure points, super important. Strengthen the lungs, floating rib up, slapping five times, one, two, three, four, five, again. Right, other side, let the pressure reverberate through the chest cavity, one, two, three, four, five, again, two, three, four, five. Four fingers on the sternum, from bottom to top, up and down for the immune system. Hook on either side of the collarbone. For the reproductive organs, looking up, soften all the way through the reproductive organs. Hand will be right here, pushing up through the chin. Very strong massage. And again, look up, relax down, and massage up. Counterpoint is the back of the neck. 
as if you have sand on the back of your neck, massaging for the hormones underneath the lip and thumb under the chin. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three. On the earlobe for sleep. One, two, three, four, five. For the immune system again, index and middle finger up the front of the ears, over the top, down the back, under, very strong. Two, three, four. Up on the face to the side, up to the side, very strong to the side, release. Up to the side, release. Fingers to the scalp, front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front, and then massage, front to back, back to front, slapping, front to back, back to front, hollow fist, gentle banging, front to back, back to front. Four fingers to the top of the forehead, one, two, three. reverse it. Temples, one, two, three, four, reverse it, one, two, three. Under the eyes, one, two, three, four, reverse it. For the heart on the middle finger, right, and the nose and lip meet, and one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, three, four. top and bottom, one, two, three, four, switch. And then tongue, reverse it. Flick the fingers out, thumbs. And then one, two, three, and grab. One, two, three. Close the eyes. Inhale, white light into the belly. Exhale, spread the whole body. Calm the nerves. Calm the cells. Inhale, white light from the foot to the head. Toes to the top of the head. Exhale, roll down the back, head to heels. Inhale, up the left side, foot to head. Exhale, down the right side, head to foot, white light. White light to the belly, exhale, push it to the top of the head like a fountain, like make a big bubble of light around you. One more breath, white light into the belly, exhale, wash it down the legs, let it go into the ground, come back up and around, a fountain in reverse, making a bigger bubble around you. And just sit in this light for a moment, have gratitude for the body, the good people in your life, the space you're in. And thank you guys so much for training. I'm Coach Jan once again, and this is Justice for Higher Tai Chi to the people. And invite friends, everyone's always welcome. Uh, training's always free. Of course, we dedicate the training every week to a different cause of the week. So you could find that cause. This week is a uh, GoFundMe for uh, uh, one of our community members, uh, family members who is uh, having operations done. And uh, that is on my janstaichi.com uh, page. So if you go to the bottom, you'll see the GoFundMe link and it'll take you right to their page and uh, you can donate if you would like, but no pressure ever and love you guys. And uh, of course, justiceforhire.com, we're building a cinematic universe together. So love you guys and thank you. I'm just gonna press stop on the recording.